Well, praise God. We're back out here on the street. Six, no, no, sorry, eight people have given their hearts to Jesus Christ today. Absolutely amazing. In the mighty name of Jesus, we've been out here like half an hour or something. God loves every person. He cares about every person. He cares about you. He wants to save your soul. Yes, he does. Come and talk to me. You want me to turn this on? No? You can talk to me. Okay. Sometimes people don't want to talk. Now this lovely lady here, she's been listening. She's watched, she's watched about six people give their hearts to Jesus. And when I asked her to come over, she shied away. I don't know why. It's for everybody. Jesus loves you, man. He cares for you. He cares for every person. He wants to save your soul. He, at the moment, you are disconnected with your creator, people. That's not a good way to be because 150,000 people a day, 150,000 people a day die. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you're in a bad position. Open your Bible, John 3, 3. Chapter 3, verse 3, okay? You must be born again. Otherwise, listen, 150,000 people a day die. No idea when they're going to go to... Whether, by five o'clock, they mightn't make it. If you ask Jesus in your life, and he's knocking today, if you ask him into your life, you will be saved. Important, okay? Good on you guys. You. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube, all right? <laughs> okay, God bless. God bless. What's your YouTube channel for? Michael Mike? McCarthy. McCarthy. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Okay, good on you. God bless. Here we go. This is what happens. Uh, what is the word? Uh, Macquarie Center. Macquarie Center. Macquarie Center. You go this way. This way? Straight up there. Huh? And you can enter. Huh? Just keep walking. It's about where the bus shelters are. And just turn right. You'll go straight into Macquarie Center. It's all in there. Thank you. Sir. Okay. My pleasure. No problem. Okay. So now we're giving directions to people. But the main direction that I want to give heads upwards, heads towards heaven. I'm directing people to the Lord Jesus Christ, to his saving knowledge, his saving grace. People think they've been in a religion that they won't be accepted by the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not about religion, people. If you have a heartbeat today, if you have breath in your lungs that God gave you, you are eligible for salvation today. God will save your soul. At the moment, you are in danger. Talk to me. Listen, give us two minutes. Keep chewing. It's good. Do you know that? Do you know that we're all born with a sinful nature? And that people like to sin. People go out and do all sorts of terrible things. They like it. It's because of our nature. But the problem with that is that that nature can't make it to heaven because it has sin on it. And in God's heaven, there's no sin. Do you know Jesus at all? Do you know of him? Okay, you know what happens when people say that to me? Every time I give them a spiritual checkup, because people put a label on themselves, and they think the label, they think the fact that their parents were Christian, or they went to a Christian school, or they do some good works, or they think that's going to be enough. But the Bible is what we have to look at. The Word of God says in John chapter 3, verse 3, you know the Gospel of John? He says, unless, this is really important, Unless you are born of his spirit, you cannot see or enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's pretty important. You know, like, and the Bible also says that we, you yeah, keep, keep going. I know the flies are really bad today, but just keep chewing. This is fun. So the Bible says that we're all appointed to death once and then the judgment. That sounds pretty scary because God's going to open the books on us, on every one of us. And every thought, every word, every deed, everything we've ever done, it's going to be up before him. And he's going to say, see over here, this is heaven over here. There's no sin. No sin. I can't have any sin, not even the smallest one in my heaven. Okay? But he said, oh, look all over your life. You've got sin all over your life. What are you going to say to him? What would you say to him? Sorry, noisy butt. So he said, you can't come in with sin on your life. What would you say to him? A lot of people don't know. But Jesus Christ came to this earth. He was the sinless Lamb of God. He had no sin on his life, but he became sin for us. He took all of our sin of mankind upon himself so that we could have a pass to heaven. But he says you must be born of his spirit to do that. 
It's not a matter of being a member of a church or anything else. Really important difference. That's why I'm saying sometimes it feels like an inoculation, like you've had a, a, a needle, like a, a flu jab that says you're okay because you're part of a church or something like that. You must be born again. And it's a simple thing. He said you can't save yourself. He says if you open your heart, he's knocking on the door of your life today. Right here. This is a divine appointment. He's brought you here. God has. And he says he's knocking on the door of your life. If you open the door, if you hear his voice, open the door, ask him to come in. He says, I will make you to be born again. I will save your eternal soul. And on that same day, when you're standing up before God, he's going to say, why would I let you in heaven? And then Jesus Christ is going to say, I know this person. I, they belong to me. I've taken their sin upon my life. And God the Father will say, come and be with me forever. Isn't that a wonderful thing? But you need the certainty of it. You can't walk around in a state. I'll tell you why. You can't walk around in a state that you don't really know Jesus that way. Because 150,000, you can look on your, on your internet yourself, 150,000 people a day die. Every day. Every day. 67 million in 2022. So we don't know when we're going to die, do we? You don't know? Do you know? Nobody does. So that's why it's so important that you need to have that right, exactly right with God. And you can have it. Jesus made a free gift. He didn't make it difficult. He says, if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus died for you, if you were the last person on earth and he died for you, he would have died for you. He did die for you. He said, if you believe that, really and truly believe it, he said, I will cause you to be saved and born again. So we can say a simple prayer. If you would like that certainty in the heart, Eight people already in, in the last 20 minutes here have given their hearts to Jesus Christ. It's not an unusual thing, but they're all safe. You can do that too. Would you like to do that? Just say a prayer with me? It's just a simple prayer. It's up to you. There's nothing, no forced thing here. I just want you safe, okay? And you need to be safe. Would you like to do that? It's only a two minute prayer, so can you hold each other's hands with, through that ice cream? That's right, and, and, and just, just so what we're going to do is we're going to look away to Jesus. You bow your head. It's only been a minute and then you can get back to your ice cream. But bow your head and just look to Jesus. And just say after me, nice and clearly, say, Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus into my life. Wash away all my sin. Give me all your righteousness. I believe that I am born of your spirit. In accordance with your word, with your word. If I was the last person on earth, you would have died for me. I believe you rose again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, that's all it is, girls. That's all it is. Now, it just seems like a simple prayer, but God sees your heart. He saw your heart and you were sincere. You were sincere. You, were, you believe what you said. Yeah, that's important. Okay. So, wonderful. Now, it's, Open your Bible up, start reading your Bible. Where about, do you live somewhere around here? I don't need to know exactly, but which suburb? Uh, we live in Thornley. Where, sorry? Thornley. Thornley, okay, all right. We've got a church in Bankstown, and we, um, we meet there on a Saturday. So if ever you're down there, that's okay. But where do you go to school at Thornley as well? Uh, no, we go to oh, okay, that's all right. You don't have to tell me, that's fine. Okay, well, wonderful girls. God bless you both really good so read your bible okay because now your spirit is different you know what god says this is what jesus said about you now he said once you're in his hand the father has given you to him and he said once you're in his hand nobody can in any way ever ever take you out pluck you out he says nobody can pluck you out not even yourself some people say oh i don't want to know god anymore he says i have my hand on your life I am the finisher and the perfecter of your faith. So he's, he, he loves you so much now, all right? He loved you before, but now you have a real, true relationship with him. And he'll protect you and look after you because we need it in this world. All right, I'm going to let you eat your ice cream, but you've been very good. You've been very patient, girls, and you've been very understanding and respectful. So thank you for that. Okay? Thank you so much. You're going to think about this a bit more now? Yeah? Okay. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay, it's all happening, people. It's all happening. In Jesus' name. That's ten people. Ten saved already. This is a wonderful thing. 
God is at work here today. The Spirit of God is here. The Spirit of God is here and He's locating people. He's speaking to people today. Everyone needs to be saved. Everyone needs Jesus in their life. People walk by, but He loves you. He cares for you. People brush me off. That's okay. Many people have stopped and given their hearts to Christ today. This is a beautiful thing, people. God loves you. God loves you. He cares for you. He wants a relationship with you. So right now, in Jesus' name, we're going to stop for a moment. We'll start again a bit, a bit shortly, unless somebody, the Holy Spirit locates somebody. God bless you. You want to be on YouTube? God loves you. Cares for you. Oh, look at that. There goes the window. All right. Not everybody's the same. We had people who wanted to be on YouTube. So they opened up their window and they were looking over. So many people here. Look at the multitudes. And the Bible said the road to destruction is wide and many people are on it. But the road to life is very narrow and few find it. Not everybody finds it, people. But some people do. Ten people have given their life to Christ today. Right here. Right here. They've given their life to Christ. Come back and talk to me. Come back. What about you two dudes? Do you know Jesus Christ? You want to be on YouTube? Come here. Come here, be on YouTube. You're okay, okay. We're attracting people today because people like to be on YouTube. They like to be on social media. Oh, this, it's starting to rain. We might get washed out here, people, but we've been here and done our job already. I think it's starting to rain. I'm going to stop this in Jesus' mighty name.